Hey guys, Project Lua here presenting you with your first Roblox Lua scripting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover variables and um, changing properties of things like a part. So, just open up a place. And so, let's start off with the variables. So, what is a variable? A variable is just a name that refers to something in the game so um we have a couple sections of a variable of creating a variable you have the actual name of it and then it equals and then what it actually equals so let's just begin with the name the name can be anything um like it can be dog it can be cat it can be anything um, just don't make it like whenever you're like programming a big game, make it like it's understandable where you can understand it. Um, so like if it's a player, don't put fish, you know, do player. So, um, so the name could be anything. And so what the, this next part is what the variable means and what it like equals. So, to figure this out, um, if you don't already ha have this open, um, go to view and open all the things that I have open. Um, but what we're going to be using is Explorer. So, open up Explorer and you should see all of these things inside of it. Um, so, we have workspace, players, um, and etc. So, whenever we're dealing with um with a variable it can go in under all of these or any of these but um the main ones would probably be let's see workspace players lighting and started ui startup hat i think those would be the uh, main ones that y they would fall under um but for this video we're going to go ahead and just use workspace so insert a part into the game so game so if you type in let's do var equals okay so um the game is basically like explorer so if you type in game it's basically saying explorer to go find a child or parent but in our case a child of explorer you use a dot so game dot and then it's going to, you're going to have to find something inside of game or explore. So all of these are children of explore. So game dot workspace. That would be this game dot workspace. Then another child would be dot part. So var equals game dot workspace dot part. Let's just go ahead and change this to part. So um, if you guys are wondering, a child is basically like going further inside of a thing um, for a visual representation. So, like workspace, and then a child would be part because it's like it's under workspace, it's in it. So, and um, a parent is just the opposite of a child. Um, so, like the parts parent would be workspace and workspace's parent would be explorer so i hope you guys understand that so there's really not much more to do in the variables but um so i think we should move on to how we can use this and that's going to be like changing properties and stuff like that so we have part to equal game dot workspace uh, dot part and we have all these properties we can change we can change them manually but sometimes we're going to want to change it through a script um actually a lot of times we will um so to be able to change it you're going to have to know a couple things well um i forget what they're called but it like consists of vector3.new uh 
U-D-I-M 2 dot new. Um, let's see. There's quite a bit more, but that's all I can think of off the top of my head. So, you won't have to use them in all the uh, situations, but I will talk about this later. So, anyways, part dot name. So, this kind of works the same way as a children, but, I mean, you can just think of it like that. So, it's going to find part and then scan the properties for a thing called name. And once it does that, then you can continue, then the script continues. So, part.name equals. So, we can't just do name. That won't work um, because it's going to think name is another variable. Now, if we did name equals part, then that would work. But for this case, we won't do that. So, we're going to have to put um, quotation marks around uh, whatever you want to change the name to, so, um, we can change that to test. So, um, you don't have to, like, redefine the variable, so you don't have to do workspace, or not, uh, workspace part equals workspace, and that's another thing, um, I'll talk about it later, workspace, so you don't have to do workspace dot, um, dot test. Because the parts are already defined as te or as test, so you don't have to redo it. Um, let's see. So if we go ahead and play this, now you can see that this part that used to be named part is now named test. So that's just an example um, of changing a property. But you guys are probably wondering. Um, how to like make it where you can actually see something happening so a good uh, thing to use for this would be um, brick color part dot brick color equals brick color dot new um this is one thing you could um, use brick color dot new you can also use color color three dot new but Anyways, we're just going to use brick color new. So, if we open up our color tray, you can see all these colors. And I selected really red, and that is a actual color. So, um, we could also do reddish brown or new yellow, um, or just white. Um, but if you like, it has to be anything in Lua. It has to be capitalized correctly. So, um, like if you put lowercase on the really, um, if you lowercase the R and really, then it will default to gray. I'm not sure which gray. I think it's, um, me whatever that is, medium stone gray. And so you have to insert it, uh, or type it correctly. So if we go ahead and play this, that turns it to red. And so there's a couple things that I want you guys to know about because I get asked this quite a bit. So you have brick color dot new um vector three dot new. Uh yeah, that's correct. Um I think there's a couple more. I well, there's probably a lot more, but those are probably the main ones you're going to use. So, um, brick color dot new is what I just used. Um, so I don't think I need to explain that one. And I'm going to jump over to color three dot new. Color three dot new is going off the RG. Um, let's see, off the um, RGB scale. So um, red, green, blue scale. So color three dot new works like that. So how you would do it is I'm I haven't did this in quite a while. I think it's like dot color equals.
That should turn the brick red if I did it right. Um. You, I brick color dot. No. No. Um. Let's see. Oh, I think I remember. I think that should work. Yeah, so a frustrating thing about Roblox is that it's not going off the 255 scale like it normally does. Basically, 1 is 255, so just to get around this, you have to um, divide it by 255. Um, just if you want to use the 255 scale. Um, which I'm guessing you would. So, um, okay, so that's brick color and color 3.new. Um, so vector 3.new. Um, that's moving a part to a different position. So, So that just moves the part. It moves it from over here to um from here to there. So, um there's not much to that. You could use a move to method on like a play or something, but we'll get into that later. So that's vector three C frame. I I'm terrible at C frames. I hate them. I just don't like them at all. So, I'm not even going to try to explain that one. But, it's basically what it is. It's like Vector 3.new, but I think it can go into each other. Something like that. I have I don't ever use it. I always use Vector 3.new. And then, lastly, UDIM 2.new or UDIM 2.new. Um, that's for GUI, so I'm not going to get into that quite yet. Um, but you cannot apply this to a part, so, that's basically, um, all, so, like, you can also change if a part's locked or not through the script just by going, um, not locked, but I mean anchored. So... I think that wraps up this tutorial, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to post it in the comments. I'll be sure to reply. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.